Hello. So now, let's talk about the propagation of sound. So sound is a wave. It's a mechanical wave because it needs medium to be transferred or propagate. And it is also a longitudinal wave wherein the movement of the wave is parallel to the direction of the sound wave. So moving forward, backward, forward, backward. So here in the propagation of the sound, we need to determine the elements, how the sound propagates, and what are the um, factors that affects the speed of propagation of the sound. Beginning with the three elements for sound production. So the process should also or always starts with vibrating source, which supplies the energy to the surrounding medium. In here, in this animation, let's have the chicken fork as the source of the vibration producing the sound. Second is that, remember that this energy or this wave should only be transmitted if there is a medium. Medium refers to whether the, that matter is solid, liquid, or a gas so from the source it will move to the medium then the third one when the wave reaches the receiver energy is transferred to the receiver in the form of a wave disturbance so that's the third one there should be a receiver and then the receiver will receive that sound in a wave in the form of a wave disturbance so remember the three elements for the sound production one, there should be a source. Second, there should be a medium. And the third one, there should also be a receiver to receive the wave disturbance. So now, what about the factors affecting the transmission and propagation of the sound? So since sound wave is a mechanical wave, it needs a medium to propagate and be transmitted or the energy to transmit from one point to another. So in this case, we need to determine which somehow medium will propagate the sound faster than the other. Sound waves travels in different velocities depending on the medium. So therefore, let's start. The first factor that may affect the um, propagation of the sound is we have to consider the types of medium. So here, I have uh, two pictures showing you which one propagates the sound faster is it tapping on a solid material or playing sound underwater so easily we can say that tapping on the table or the solid object will propagate the sound faster than playing sound in a lip or underwater so here in this animation let's say the dominoes are the uh, particles in solid liquid and gas and look at the spaces between those dominoes or let's say particles and when there is a vibrating you will see the effect or you will be able to see which one propagates the vibration faster than the other so we have the fastest one which is the solid fast in liquid and slow in gas so sound travels fastest, like what I told you, through solid, faster in liquid, and slowest through gas. Transmission of sound can be attributed to the properties of the medium, such as its elasticity and its density. Since sound is a transfer of energy, its speed depends on how well the particles in the medium bounce back after being disturbed like when you stretch the rubber band and then release it it will somehow produce sound or when you uh, when you try to stretch the rubber band and try to strum it like a guitar it will also produce sound unlike the clay molding it will not produce sound because the clay doesn't have this ability called elasticity so therefore rubber band is elastic and the clay is not you know that if you stretch a rubber band and then let it go the rubber band returns to its original shape it somehow produces sound when you do that if you do the same with the modeling clay you know the clay will keep its current shape 
but no sound will produce. And when it comes to going back, turning back to its original shape, clay cannot, cannot do that because it doesn't have elasticity on it. Elasticity is the ability of the material to bounce back after being disturbed. When you compress it or when you expand it or stretch it, a more elastic medium allows sounds to travel quickly because when the particles are compressed, they quickly spread out again. So that's the explanation why the more elastic the medium is, the more quickly it produces or it propagates the sound. The speed of the sound is also dependent on how big the particles of the substance are. So regarding the volume and its uh, mass, the density, that's the second one aside from elasticity, the density of the medium depends on how much matter there is in a given amount of space. So sound travels more slowly in denser materials since the denser medium the more mass it has in a given volume. So the particles of a dense material do not move as quickly as those of a less dense medium. So therefore, it should be less dense to propagate the sound quickly. The second one is the temperature. So aside from the types of medium, here we go with the temperature. We have two types, whether the temperature is warm or the temperature is cold. Temperature is also a factor that affects the speed of the sound. In a medium, sound travels more slowly at lower temperature and faster at higher temperature. Like my example here, showing you that warmer during the temperature is warm, sound travels faster than cooler temperature wherein the sound travels slower. So the particles of a medium are more sluggish at low temperature and this difficulty moving affects how fast they return to their original position. As the temperature of air increases, the air particles are moving faster at random causing the sound to be transmitted at the greater rate. So sound travels faster in solid than in gases due to the molecules arrangement of solid materials. So that's the end of our review regarding sound propagation. See you again on the next review. Bye-bye.